my lovers aries nation and their lovers welcome to your september 2020 astrological sign update now remember when you're watching these readings for love guys please listen because i don't want anybody coming in comments no it doesn't resonate it's flipped whatever yeah that's exactly what i'm saying okay when you're watching these readings for love you're not just going to watch your sun sign you're going to watch your sun your moon your venus and your rising sign and then you're going to watch your person's placements because sometimes the energies can be flipped, vice versa, reverse, whatever word you want to use. All right. The energies can be exchanged because sometimes spirit wants you to get a different perspective on things. So you just have to take it out. It resonates. And you know what? Sometimes it may not resonate at all. It may just not be your reading that day. All right, guys. So let's us get into this. And what we're going to do is get a multi-dimensional uh, multi look at your person, a holistic view. So right now I'm going to get a message from your person's higher self. I also want to let you know that the frequency that came on for you guys today um, when I was about to start this reading was 528 hertz. And it, it's manifesting miracles. Let me just get the complete name for you guys. Right, miracle tone manifests miracles, raise positive vibration, spiritual healing. So I think that's what you and your person um, are going through right now. Very much in magician's energy, making things happen. Um, and if you have not raised your vibration, you need to because it looks like there's something that's waiting to come in um, to you. Bloody hell, where did that go? All right. So you see this person saying yes. What are they saying yes to? Well, there's a butterfly. They're saying yes to transformation. It's exactly what I was talking about, right? Spiritual healing. Um, 35 reduced to 8. So that's about standing in your power, your spiritual power, your physical power. This person is saying yes. All right. So that's what's happening with your person. So a powerful transformation it's like they're, they're finally like surrendering to this transformative energy. They might have been putting up a fight, holding back on their energy, but now they're surrendering to transformation. Let us get a message from your person's shadow side. Unavailable. Emotionally unavailable. It looks like they've locked themselves off um, from everybody else here. I'm really blocking out their energy. They might be even unavailable to spirit, as in they're just completely shut down and not receiving any kind of downloads or anything like that. This is also giving me hermit vibes, or they could be looking at the reason why they've been emotionally unavailable um, or distant in their relationships. We're going to pull some cards. I'm just getting them out. Let's get these healing messages. Now, I shuffle all of these before I come on, but I like to just, you know, shuffle them on camera. Just to infuse your energy. Let's see. What is your person healing right now? We have the material world. All right. So we have someone here very much immersed in the material world. And you might want to watch the cancer reading. And you may also want to watch um, yesterday's um, Akashic or soul contract reading okay this is what it was very much about so this is what your person's healing right now their attachment to the material world and the decisions that they may have and recognizing the decisions that they may have made in pursuit of uh, material standing material power um wealth um trying to be upwardly mobile those are the kind of issues that your person um is processing right now it looks like they've had some sort of uh, karmic return or karmic lesson um, and this is what's making them reevaluate all these different um, principles and concepts that they've um, grown up with the emotional body we have optimistic that's beautiful okay so they're raising their vibration that's beautiful there what are they experiencing right now whoa my lumerian crystal almost fell they're dealing with some past life stuff it looks like what are they experiencing right now on their twin flame soulmate journey we have secrets 
so it looks like it could be some kind of secrets uh coming to the light um they may be acting very secretive making secret plans let's get a message from their 3d self all right so i'm gonna pull cards of all of these here i don't deserve you so there's some self-worth issues that are also going on as well you see they're finally recognizing um who you are and it looks like they may have chosen the material world or made some sort of decision um with regard to the material world and went off in a different direction okay they were emotionally unavailable they weren't listening to their emotions but they're saying yes to this transformation yes to standing in their power and they're feeling very optimistic that they can make shit happen but there's this um still self-defeated thought that they're not good enough and i'm seeing this here about secrets and this could be anything so let's start pulling the cards and let's see what this is all about so spirit what is this yes card about all right so it looks like this person's acknowledging that they are your emperor empress divine counterpart and um, they're also recognizing this is you aries recognizing that you hold their heart you hold their heart you were always in their corner you were always the one and it looks like they're changing i see that they were juggling they kept going back and forth they might have been juggling you and everybody else okay but they're taking control of their life and in particular they're taking control of a karmic connection here okay it was something incredibly toxic we have the nine of cups in reverse and your person is like I just need to release this cycle there's too much burdens here too much responsibilities i feel weighed down by this relationship and they are closing it off so we have the ten of wands this is a, a burdensome cycle that is over so your person standing in their power leveling up leveling up to you aries um, and dealing with the stuff um, that they need to deal with in their life let's see why they're unavailable we have the empress so they're unavailable to you right now for some of them they might be unavailable because they might be um someone that's pregnant let me pull another card on that spirit what is the empress about okay they 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 might be unavailable or blocked off themselves from you because they know that they've hurt you they know that they've hurt you okay they wounded the empress we have the star card in reverse they feel like it's hopeless between you and them like there's no hope left okay um they want to invest in this connection and i think they vacillate between this hopelessness and this optimism here but they they are they are keeping a diff they're definitely keeping an eye on you i'm also getting right now they've locked themselves off from the world both from you their counterpart because you're coming out as the empress and they identify themselves as the emperor and both from the karmic because the star card in reverse is about the karmic they're doing this life review they've even gone back um to their childhood which apparently was quite dysfunctional look we have the fool in reverse okay so your person getting a lot of aha moments a lot of downloads about their childhood and how their upbringing um influenced um the decisions that they made in terms of their partners jobs um etc etc it's some kind of a lack uh, mentality let's see they're healing they're healing this connection that they have with the material world getting a more healthy connection here yeah this cycle of just running after the material world and making decisions based solely on the material world and amassing wealth and power this cycle um is ending okay they're recognizing that they were just doing that because they have the, had a lot of insecurities of their own so it's, it's like you know there are people um that you may they you may meet and they wear like brand name clothing from head to toe like they might dress themselves all in gucci um you know all the designer brands everything that they wear is designer and they go on and on about what they have and all of that all the trappings of wealth it's rarely an armor that they're wearing so that people can not see how worthless and unworthy that they feel inside so their worth is always um connected to the material world and the things that they can amass okay so this is what this person was doing they were cloaking their insecurities their feelings of not being good enough um in the material world 
So their car was like an armor truck, really. And all the things that they wore, all the brand name things and the handbags or whatever, whatever it is that they may have done. Okay. It was all because um, they felt unworthy inside. So they're developing a healthy relationship now um, with the material world because the king of pentacles, he's a master of the material world, but he's not attached to it. And this is what they're learning right now, how to master the material world, but not be attached to it and not let that be their sense of um, um, self-worth. Okay. So they're feeling optimistic. I think this person really raising their vibration because they've made some sort of decision here. Let me see. Okay. The decision that they've made is to release some kind of third party. Now it could even be a job. This third party could even be a job. Okay. That was quite unhealthy. Whatever the attachment was. Maybe this person was a workaholic. So they're making the decision to release that. It could definitely be a third party. Look, we have the divorce card here, the breakup card, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It could be dysfunctional family members that they are releasing. Okay, some kind of toxic situation. They've made a decision to release it because it was stressing them to fuck out. Look at them here, Nine of Swords. Okay, and they're realizing that they were giving their power away to this thing or to this person or these people. But we have secrets. Spirit, tell us about... Why did you give us this secret card? These secrets. Right. So they're secrets from their childhood. Now, this is also past life stuff. Okay. So there's some kind of past life stuff that's going on here. Let me pull some cards and let's see what else is going on here. But right off the bat, I'm seeing that they are childhood secrets. Dysfunctional childhood secrets that they're dealing with right now. But there's also some kind of element of past life stuff or karmic stuff that's happening here. Let me, let me pull some more cards, okay? Yes, it's an abandonment issue. But it is not just an abandonment issue from their childhood. This is something that they've brought over from a past life to deal with. Um, you may want to watch definitely that Akashic Records reading from yesterday. Um... This is what the masculine energy was dealing with. That feeling of being orphaned, that feeling of being supported and the abandonment issues um, resident with that. So your person, they're getting a lot of downloads. They're in this high priestess energy and they're, make, they're getting this information from behind the veil and they're making the connects. And this is what's allowing them to walk away from these toxic patterns. They're recognizing the genesis of it. They've gone back to their childhood and they've also recognized that this might be something from a past life that I have to now transmute um, in this present life. I don't deserve you. So there, there is some kind of self-image thing that's going on here as well. Okay. We have the hangman in reverse. They couldn't see this higher perspective, but they're seeing the truth of it now. They're seeing the truth of themselves and they wish to be their authentic self. And that's why they're about to stand in their power and to manifest something new. And look at them here walking away. So they're also walking away from this energy of being not being good enough, but they're also walking away from situations that reinforce um, that not good enough vibe. Okay. So I think your person's doing well, not spring cleaning, but some fall cleaning, it looks like. They're cleaning house. They're clearing the energy um, that they've been toting around for a long time. So this is a very transformative time um, for your person because when this is over, they're going to be fully standing in their power, okay? Let's have a look at their headspace with regard to Aries. We have here page of cups in reverse so they're not ready to talk about their feelings all right um they, we have here seven of swords it looks like they may have been kind of sneaky i think they may have really um hurt you and and they're thinking about that um they want to heal the situation between you guys we have the three of swords um in reverse but right now um they're going through some kind of breakup or some kind of turmoil um in their environment and they're feeling very unstable right now with that four of wands reverse so when they think about you and this connection aries 
What's the mind space? Where's the head at? All right, we have the star card in reverse. You see that feeling of hopelessness again. And again, they keep thinking about the ways that they hurt you. So we have Aquarius energy here. They're thinking about how, they, how much they hurt you and they just can't see how they can make a comeback. They really can't. They think that they've lost you. Um, I think they, they really went in a different direction. They went in the direction of some kind of karmic energy here. Because look, we have that Queen of Cups reverse. That's the emotionally manipulative karmic. That could even be a mother figure or feminine energy in their life. So they're seeing how much that they hurt you. Right? They think that they've lost you. Okay, what's this? Magician in reverse. Um, I'm also getting it as well. Um, they're recognizing that they're, a lot of their behaviors that they were displaying was, were very manipulative. They're having that self-awareness now. It looks like this is just how they were raised. And they didn't recognize just how dysfunctional this was, Aries, um, until they started um, doing these deep dives into their psyche um, and into their childhood. They didn't realize that that was dysfunctional. This is just how the people in their life operate and this is just what they were modeled okay we have four of cups in reverse and they were doing all this manipulation here because they were very insecure everything that they have done the ways that they've conducted the relationship if they were ghosted new whatever it is it was all manipulation so that you would be the one chasing them you would be the one over giving you would be the one proving your self-worth all the time and they will always be getting that ego stroke okay that's what they were doing and it's all because they did not feel worthy. And they're recognizing that now. So let's see the star card in reverse. We have judgment. So they're seeing everything clearly. They're awake. They're seeing everything clearly. They're seeing that you're, like, you're, you're their twin or soulmate, whatever it is. But they're also recognizing that right now, they're just too wounded to make you any kind of solid offer. They're not ready. They're not ready. They're, they're now stepping into their power. They're now processing these things. I think the deepest healing is now. They're now getting into the root of their issue. Okay? So they're not ready for anybody. Right now, they have to learn to love themselves. But they're thinking about you all the time. I mean, you occupy their thoughts. I think they're also focusing on releasing some kind of third party here as well. So this person is definitely not ready. Um, I'm sorry if that's triggering for you, but you wouldn't want anybody um, in that kind of energy coming back in your life. They just make a mess of things. Okay? Somebody that doesn't know themselves and why they do the things that they do. Um, there's nothing more dysfunctional than that. Let's see who's this Queen of Cups here in reverse. Yeah, they think that they've lost you. They're like, wait, wait for me. <laughs> Wait, I am manifesting a new beginning. Wait, don't leave me. They don't want you to leave, Aries. But that means they need to get their shit in order. You've been waiting long enough. Okay, yeah. And, and they're recognizing now that whatever situation that they're in here. You see, they kept procrastinating. They kept um, refusing to take action on this karmic energy. They knew that it was toxic. They knew that was, it was dysfunctional. But, you know, there's something such as karmic magnetism. And until they repay karmic debts, they will always be magnetized back to toxic situations until these debts are repaid. They don't even know why. They don't even like the person. They don't even like the person. They don't feel any um, sexual connection or any love or anything like that. But they would keep going back and that's that karmic magnetism. And until that debt is restored, that debt has been repaid, they're always going to be up in that person's crutch. I'm telling you. They don't even know why. Why am I doing this? Why am I hurting myself this way? Right? This is dysfunctional. They know that on a very conscious level and yet they still find themselves back there. And it's, it's that karmic magnetism. That's just how universe created that let's see what's this magician in reverse energy yeah they're looking back on the past this is a, this is seven of pentacles this is the life review looking back on the past and they're realizing how they grew up and what they were taught and they were taught how to manipulate people and control the situation because a magician is a, is a control freak remember he's the one controlling the elements so he's already a control freak but when we start talking about reverse magician this is the man or woman, they're all about the power play. 
they want to control everything in their life, including who they fall in love with. They leave nothing to chance. Everything must be controlled. And the four of cups in reverse, that's their insecurities. Yeah, you see that? You see? They don't have any self-confidence and that's why they end up in all these codependent situations. So this is what your person's working on right now. They're working on themselves. They're working on closing off that chapter in their life where their insecurities were the driving motivation um, be behind their decisions. So this is what they're working on closing off right now. So they're not ready to take any leap of faith right now, Aries. I really do think that they think that they've lost you. But right now, they have to work on themselves. They have to work on themselves right now. What's blocking this connection? We have the four of swords. It's being blocked for healing. Your person has to heal. Trust me, you don't want anybody in this energy coming back in your life. They're still healing. Okay? Um, and right now, Spirit is saying, both of you, um, you need to just go deep within and complete your healing process because healing has <clears throat> healing is ongoing but at least you have to get to that place where both of you guys can have a functional relationship and this person is not there yet we have seven of cups in reverse what's blocking this connection right now I think this connection is being blocked by spirit so that people get clarity because the seven of cups upright talks about confusion it talks about illusions okay but the, this person thinking that they've lost you okay this is what's dissipating um or eradicating all the illusions that they had maybe about a karmic relationship maybe about their behavior um they're seeing things clearly right now what's blocking this connection we have the ace of pentacles no sorry sorry king of pentacles all right so your person could be a provider in another situation if they're a taurus um they could be blocking the connection um but they i'm also getting that they're working hard in the material world not not attached to the material world but working hard in the material world so that they can be more stable and that they can show up for you and the other people in their life What's blocking this connection? Three of Pentacles in reverse. I, I really think that they're going through some kind of divorce or separation or maybe even change in jobs here. I'm also getting as well some kind of financial crisis um, as well. Um, and your person working to get themselves back into balance. So if this sounds like your energy, Aries, join me in the extended. Now what I'm going to do there, I'm going to go into the Sabila. I'm looking and see what spirit is going to reveal about your person's life. What's happening there that's creating this kind of energy that we're seeing. I'm going to look at their heart space energy for you. I'm going to get some 3D messages from them. And I have so much 3D decks, my God. I'm going to get some messages from their higher self. Um, and then I'm going to look at potential actions towards you by the end of the month. And then I'm going to get you um, some advice. What do you need to be doing? What's the next? What's your next move? All right. So thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments, dislike. They all help the channel grow. And if you can go a step further and interact with any of the ads that may play during this reading, that's a beautiful energy exchange um, and they keep the readings coming. All right, guys, and, and you should do that for any reader that you enjoy. Once you see um, those ads, um, it, you watch your reading and then come back and interact, okay? All right, guys, take care. Bye.